Whether you are shipping tennis shoes, shoes that are brand new in their box, heels or boots, you're in the right place. I put timestamps along the bottom if you need to skip to a specific part of the video. But with that being said, let's get into how to ship shoes. All right, so let's cover the basics to get started and we're gonna go over shipping providers. 99% of the shoes that I sell go USPS. I find that the cheapest way to ship shoes. The majority of my sales are coming from eBay and I also sell on Poshmark, which sends you a USPS priority mail label. USPS is beneficial because they will send you free boxes. We'll get more into that later in the video. But if you are shipping FedEx or UPS, say in the case of you're shipping some really heavy boots that are going across the country and UPS is cheaper or you're selling a Mercari and FedEx is the cheapest shipping option or you're doing eBay authenticity guarantee or StockX or Go and they're sending you a label, those orders cannot be shipped in the free USPS priority mail boxes. They just need to be shipped in a brown box. If you're being sent that label, all you need to do is find a box that fits your shoes, properly package them, slap the label on it, and you're good to go. Now that we got the carriers out of the way, let's go over the few supplies that I use to ship out my shoes. Obviously, we're gonna need tape, and a tape, tape gun's not really super necessary. It's just gonna add a little bit of a convenience factor. Tape King brand is probably the cheapest option when it comes to tape. I can find this on Amazon. First off, everything that we talked about in the video will be linked down in the description below from the, the boxes that we use to all the supplies. You're going to need to know how heavy the shoes are that you're shipping. So you're gonna need a shipping scale. This one is only like 20 bucks on Amazon a great option to get started with You are going to need some scissors or a knife or something to modify the 1095 box that we use to ship shoes that are brand new in the box again more on that later in the video And then I just use packing paper as like a void fill for the boxes when I'm shipping shoes So the shoes aren't just bouncing around in the box a main change from the last shipping video that I did where I was bubble wrapping shoes I found that that was kind of a waste of time, a waste of money. So I'm just sticking to adding packing paper into the boxes. I haven't been bubble wrapping and I've had zero complaints. Again, shipped out thousands of shoes without a single complaint. So just sticking with packing paper, I get this from Sam's Club. You can also buy that on Amazon as well. And then lastly, I will mention that I do add a thank you card to all of my purchases. It's not handwritten like it was in the last video. This one is something that I got off Vistaprint. It has a simple QR code that sends them to my eBay store and gives them a little discount on their next order. So that gets tossed into the box. And then you will need something to print off your shipping labels. If you have just a regular printer and you wanna cut and tape, that's fine. If you live in an apartment complex and they have a business center, you can usually go down there and print out labels for free. But if you wanna take this a little bit more seriously, upgrade to a thermal printer. I definitely recommend the Rolo wireless or their wired version, whichever one works best for you. All right, supplies out of the way. Now we're on to the boxes and the envelopes that I use to ship out my shoes. First off, the most common box that I use is the simple USPS shoe box. It's literally called a shoe box on their website. If you go to store.usps.com, you can purchase, not even purchase, they're all free. You can order all of the boxes that you need and they will deliver them right to your door. Most of the boxes they carry at the post office are flat rate and we do not wanna be shipping flat rate in most cases because the flat rate is typically gonna be more expensive since our shoes are only weighing around two to three pounds. It's gonna be cheaper to ship regular priority mail versus using those flat rate boxes. Boxes, but if you are shipping on Poshmark, I get a lot of questions about Poshmark shipping specifically. The labels that Poshmark sends you, you can use on those flat rate boxes. So say if you're only selling on Poshmark, most shoes will fit in like a medium or a large flat rate box. You can just go grab those from the post office and the Poshmark labels will work perfectly fine on those. In case you have an issue with the USPS workers, this happens once in a blue moon. It's stated at the bottom of the Poshmark label. You can just show them that and everything will be good to go. Moving on from the USPS shoe box, the next box that we're using is the Priority Mail 1095 box. This is what we're going to modify to fit a pair of shoes that are brand new in their box. Next box that I get from USPS is the box seven. The dimensions are 12 by 12 by eight. This is good for shipping bundles on Poshmark, bundles on eBay, or say some boots that aren't gonna fit in our standard USPS shoe box. And then the last thing that I'm ordering from the post office is a flat rate envelope. This is great in case you're getting some shoes that will fit in this flat rate envelope that are going across the country. I live in Florida, so if I'm sh shipping a pair of shoes out to California and they weigh, say, three, four pounds, but they will fit into this padded flat rate, that's gonna take the shipping cost all the way from like $16 down to $8 and some change. So this is a great way to save some money. I've shipped tons of shoes in these envelopes with no complaints. And then the last two items, I use my eBay store credit. If you have an eBay store, you get a credit depending on what tier of store that you have every single quarter to 
purchase shipping supplies directly from eBay. There's two things that I purchase from eBay every quarter. And that first off is this eBay envelope. I use this to ship out shoes that are first class. So say toddler shoes or flip flops or anything that is gonna weigh in under a pound that fits in this envelope. I can ship them out first class no issues. And then the other box that I'm ordering from eBay is this 16 by 12 by eight brown box. This is great for, again, the bundles or say Western boots or just any, any big boots that isn't gonna fit in any of the other boxes we're talking about. Or if I need to ship something FedEx that is eBay authenticity guaranteed, this box is great for FedEx shipping. So now that we got the boxes out of the way, let's talk about individual shoes and how I ship those shoes. And we're gonna start out with the most basic ones, just a regular pair of tennis shoes or sneakers. For these, nine times out of 10, unless they're like a men's size 18 and bigger, these are always gonna fit perfectly fine into that USPS shoe box that I mentioned earlier. I don't think I need to show you guys how to tape up a box, but I'm gonna tape up the first side of the box. And then from here, I basically go packing paper, shoes, packing paper, and I'll slide my thank you card in the side. One thing that I do note, I don't know if this is something that I actually need to worry about, but whenever I'm putting my thank you card into the box, I'm always making sure that the ink is facing away from the shoes, just in case it's hot outside and the ink tries to rub off on some shoes, it's not going to rub off on the shoes, it's gonna rub off onto the box. So the way that we're doing this is, again, piece of packing paper, sticking this in, I just put the shoes together just like this, how they would be in the box. If you bought a pair of shoes brand new, they're gonna be sitting in like this. We're gonna drop them right in the box. Um, again, thank you card, ink away from the shoes. Packing paper. We'll seal up the top, slap a label on the box, and this one is good to go. As I mentioned, the packing paper is great to make sure that the shoes aren't wiggling around. There's no movement. I guess you can hear the packing or the, uh, what's that? the thank you card in there bouncing around but the shoes are nice and stable inside the box now for the example of those regular tennis shoes that are going across the country and they weigh more than like two or three pounds and the shipping is just astronomical if they're going to fit into a padded flat rate that is the best option i simply just toss the shoes in here with a thank you card and that is a perfectly fine way to ship. Again, never any complaints. I got these Vans as an example. Typically Vans are gonna be around the three pound mark. And if these are going to California, this is a smaller women's size. So it's gonna fit in this padded flat rate pretty easily. So we'll just slide these in. Shoes are in there nice and secure. I'll take that thank you card, slide it again, ink away from the shoes, slide it on top of the shoes. And then these padded flat rates have this strip on, on the top. We just peel that bad guy off of there and then fold this over again, folding it over as tight as possible to make sure the shoes aren't like super loose in there. The padding on this is good enough to keep the shoes protected on their way to the buyer. That is how I use the padded flat rates. Again, this is great for if you're, if, if you have a pair of sandals that fit in here that are over a pound, pretty much anything that will fit in this padded flat rate envelope, please do not be afraid to use it. It's going to protect the shoes more than enough. We need to remember that these are, these are items that are being worn on people's feet. They're literally walking around on them all day long. So shipping them in a padded flat rate isn't gonna do any damage to them. Now let's move on to shoes that are brand new in their box. This is what that Priority Mail 1095 box is gonna come in handy for. As you can see, both sides of the box have one side that has two red lines on it. Over here, it's this side, and on this one, it's this side. These are the sides that we need to pay attention to. We're gonna lay this box flat on the table and take our shoe box and line it up with the edge of the box that has the two lines on it. And then we're gonna take our scissors or our box knife or whatever we have, and we're going to score this box. We're not gonna cut all the way through. We just need to create an indention so the box can fold in on itself. I'm gonna score a line all the way down this box that is the same width as the shoe box that we are shipping. Flip the box over and do the same thing on the other side. And then we will literally just fold the box in on those lines that we just created. Next step we need to do is to cut the box down to the flap so the box will fold shut. We'll do that on both sides of the box. Go ahead and tape one side shut. And then the box should fit perfectly in to the box that we just created. And then I will just fill up the extra void inside this box with packing paper to make sure that box isn't wiggling around. Drop in that thank you card, close up the top, 
And then the one last step on this is I will throw a piece of tape on the edge that we created with the scissors just to make sure that we keep the integrity of the box on those edges that we scored. So I'll go ahead and do that to show you guys an example. Just a little piece of tape right there. And simply doing that, I've never had any issues shipping this box out. Now, say you have a pair of high top sneakers or a pair of like high top hiking boots or something that is a little too big to fit inside the USPS shoe box. That is another great option for this modified 1095 box. Again, if you just skip to this part in the video, go back and watch how we modified this on a brand new in the box pair of shoes. If you don't have a pair of shoes that are brand new in the box to modify this, you can literally take the USPS shoe box, lay it flat on its side and use it in place of the shoe box when we were modifying that box. And then once you have that box modified, for example, these high top Nikes that would not fit in a regular USPS shoe box will now fit nicely inside of this box right here. And then again, we'll just toss some packing paper underneath and on top of those shoes, fold it up with our thank you card inside. And then that one is also ready to go. Now with kids shoes or some lighter sandals slash flip flops, a lot of those are gonna weigh in under one pound, which would be classified as first class mail through USPS. Only caveat is you cannot use the priority branded mailers. This again is only for priority mail. That is why I use that eBay store coupon to buy these padded envelopes. So if I have a pair of kids shoes or a pair of sandals that weigh in less than a pound, instead of paying for priority shipping, which is gonna cost again between eight to $12, I can just take these shoes and just like we did with the sneakers in the padded flat rate envelope, we'll stick them into this padded envelope that is not flat rate with our thank you card on top. And then we will seal this shut, making sure it's tight, keeping the shoes in place in there. And then we can ship this first class and that's typically only gonna cost us between four to $7. This is an easy way to save money and make sure that your profits are there on the cheaper kids shoes. One thing that I will note though, is when you are, sh when I'm personally shipping shoes in the envelopes, it's on lower dollar sales. Say shoes that are in the 20 to like $35 range. Anything over $35, my profit is typically enough to justify going ahead and sticking it into a box. Again, I've never had anybody complain about shoes being shipped in the padded envelope, but I just wanna provide a little bit better customer service on the shoes that are selling for a higher dollar amount. And since my profit is there, I don't need to save a ton of money on shipping. I'm not pinching pennies on those sales, so I will go ahead and stick them in a box to ship. But using the flat, the first class envelopes as well as the padded flat rate is an easy way to save money. Now, moving on to heels or nicer leather shoes that we don't wanna scuff against each other in the box or anything that has like some embellishments on it that would get caught on each other if they were just free to wiggle around in the box. These are just like regular tennis shoes we're using the USPS Priority Mail shoe box. We are, just like the last time, putting a piece of packing paper in first. Only difference here is I'm taking an additional piece of packing paper and wrapping each shoe individually to make sure that they're not rubbing up against each other in shipping. So once we have both shoes wrapped individually in packing paper, it's just like every other pair of shoe, we are going to put them together, drop them into the box, add our thank you card, as well as some more packing paper to keep them from bouncing around in the box. Take this up, slap a label on it, and we're good to go. Now, another option for our ankle boots or larger hiking shoes or something such as these Timberlands here that won't fit in the regular priority mail shoe box, another great option is that USPS Box 7. This box is also great for bundles on Poshmark or eBay if you have to ship out multiple pairs of shoes. Again, it is 12 by 12 by eight. So it does have some limitations. It won't fit the larger men's shoes. It should fit up to like a men's 10, but anything bigger than that, than that is gonna be too long for the box and you can't really fit much more in that. Anything that I'm shipping that is under that size, instead of modifying the 1095 box for those hiking shoes, we're just gonna tape up one side of this box again, toss a couple pieces of packing paper into the box. And then this will be perfect for these hiking boots. They're gonna fit in there perfectly perfectly snug and then we'll toss a couple more pieces of packing paper on top. If you're selling a bundle, I fit up to four pairs of shoes into this box very comfortably, just like we would in the priority mail shoe box. We'll just stick the shoes together and then just stack them on top of each other, putting enough packing paper in there to make sure that they're not bouncing around. 
and then we'll seal this box up and those are ready to go. Now for these higher top like Western boots or rain boots that won't fit in any of the boxes that we have already mentioned, that is another thing that I use the eBay store coupon on and I purchased the 16 by 12 by eight boxes. This is gonna fit just about every pair of shoe that isn't gonna fit in the boxes that we have previously mentioned. So again, we're just gonna close up one side of the box. A couple pieces of packing paper again to make sure the shoes aren't moving around. And then I just stick the boots in this way and then one opposite facing this way. This one is another box that's great for bundles. I can fit up to six to seven pairs of shoes depending on the size into this 16 by 12 by eight box. It is not a priority box. So again, anytime I have to shoot, ship shoes, FedEx or UPS, this is what I'm using more often than not. I, I know it is a little big for sneakers in some occasions, but it's boxes that I already have and I don't have to go out and find new boxes now that eBay's implemented the FedEx shipping for the authenticity guarantee shoes. This is just what I'm sticking with for the time being. So I think I've covered every single type of shoe that I normally ship out, every single box slash bubble mailer that I use to ship out thousands of shoes that I have in the past. If there's anything that I have not covered up until this point, please leave it down in the comment section Below, I will get back to you down there with any questions that you may have, no matter how dumb they may sound. And everything that we talked about in this video is linked in the description if you need to pick up some boxes from USPS or some supplies from Amazon. The Amazon links are affiliate links, so I will get a little kickback on anything you purchase through there. If you wanna see a video on how I photograph the shoes that I sell, click this thumbnail right here, and I'll see you guys in the next video.